What's up, you damn gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful gamers? So welcome back to role playing games. This is Mariel Kana in the internet, and we're going to like to discuss about RPGs. So, in today's video, this very, very short video, I am going to show you how to get uh, the best possible satchel backpack in the game. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of bad backpacks in this game. There's a lot of satchels, there's a lot of places, storage places that you can find that have different perks and whatnot. But me personally, this is my personal favorite. I honestly, this is the one that I always use, the one that I always run with because it's so versatile. It has a nice storage capacity. You can get it on the very first 15 minutes of the game and you don't actually need to change this whatsoever during the whole game. Like, this is that good. So, what is it that we're going to need? We're going to need a primitive satchel. This is the very first first thing that you start with. And you need a scaled leather. So, the primitive, blah, 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 <laughs> the primitive satchel, you already start with it. For the scaled leather, that is a little bit trickier, but not that much. This guy is going to sell it to you. Soroborian Carabaneer. He doesn't have it with him right now, but essentially, ideally, this is what you want to do. You want to wait three days. Uh, this is my tent. Uh, you only wait three days right here, like rest one day and then rest another day and then rest another day. And then he will have the scaled leather. He won't always have them. He will have them sometimes. He won't have them other times. Sometimes when you make this thing happen, he's going to have like two on stock. And some other times he won't have like anything on stock, so there's that. You de you do have to be aware of that. But uh, once you have managed to get this little thing, you only have to go to the crafting menu, place your primitive satchel right there, right there, and then the scale leathers right here, and there you go. You have a scaled satchel right here. A craftable bag with improved carrying capacity, a lantern slot, and which does not restrict your dodge. So, the most amazing part about this is that the design is actually quite nice looking. It is nice to, to take a look at this. You can roll with this thing, you can place a lantern in this thing, but it also it's also going to deplete your consumables decay by 4%. So it is a very, very amazing satchel. Like I said, I never change it. This is what I use during my whole playthroughs. And as you can see right here, 60 capacity is amazing. It's just amazing. You don't actually need that much. So for the money, you're going to need like... Uh, each scale is going to cost you like 27 silver, if my memory serves me well. So ideally, you need less than 100 silver to be able to purchase the three scales that you need from this guy. Granted, you do need to have into consideration that you're just starting out the game, that you do not know how to make money, and you probably don't have any kind of money right now. But uh, what I always like to use uh, to be able to make like this method work, I guess, is to just use the uh, split screen um, e glitch. I'm not going to be doing it right now, but each time you'll you'll get 27 silver, so uh, ideally you have to do it three times, and there's that, just that. If you are not that much of a glitch person, there are other ways to get silver, like get out there and explore and just do stuff and that's it. I wouldn't recommend it for this specific thing because like I said, you're just starting out. If you're new to game to the game and you're just starting out and you probably need something to be exploring out there, it is very tiresome to use the primitive satchel, to use the satchels or backpacks that you will encounter in this place and get out there, explore, get your ass handed to you. It's just uh, what I like to use every time I start a, a, an outward playthrough, every time I try a new character for new builds or so on and so forth, this is what I like to use. Like I said, you only need to do the glitch three times, the, the split screen glitch three times, 
you can find it easily on YouTube if you do not know how to use it, how to do it. But uh, ideally that's everything that you need. And now you have the best backpack on the game. I am telling you, I never change this thing. Like this is what I use during my whole playthroughs of the game. So there's that. Anyways, I hope that you found the video informative. If you did, a like on the video would be super appreciated. Remember to like the video and subscribe before you close the door. And I'll be seeing you goddamn gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Have a beautiful day and remember that if no one has told you today that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. Have a beautiful day and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Goodbye.